All right, folks, the situation we got going on right now is we got a slick that's running all the way back to Andros and then all the way up to Chub K where we're staying. There's birds, there's mixed sargasm, floats them in the water, waiting for that bite. Going for mahi. And as you can see, we're sitting here on this beautiful 61-foot Viking that Starbright owns. Captain Kevin Cote there. That's you right. You might remember him from another show previous in the uh, seasons. He's the one that jumped in and got that beautiful, uh, what was that? The mutton a, snapper. The mutton snapper, brother. <laughs> there was that, a lot of current a, that day. That was awesome. So tell me, have you been here? This is my first time here. Yes, we brought the boat here a couple times before. When the conditions are right, Blair, we've caught a lot of mahi-mahi. But we're going to try to do the same thing on this edge here with the slick. And there was some birds and a lot of weeds, scattered weeds. So we're hoping we can catch some here today. Yeah, how can you not catch anything in Andros, right? Oh, we're going to catch them in the sure. In the pocket. Yeah, we're here. Oh, Blair, get your, get your pilchard. Get your pilchard. Pete, neutral, neutral. Catch right there off the port, right under the weeds. Oh, I hope he eats it. Oh, come on. Fish on. Neutral. Oh, the old pilchard works every time. Oh, nice one, Blair. See him jump back there? Yeah. Get this out of your way. See how the eight foot Look meat stick does here? It's like a little cow, huh? Yeah, a little one. Tell you what, this year the eight footer has made its debut. We're from Redfish. I wonder if there's any following here. Tarpon, bonefish, permit, and now a dolphin. Mahi, mahi. Swimming straight to the boat. See anything with him? I don't see anything. See anything with him up there? We got color. We got dinner. God, what a beautiful fish. I don't think I can swing this one, Kev. You want to grab the gaff on him? Yep, right here. See if we can put it right in his head, or right I'm in her try. head. I'm going to try. Oh! <laughs> no good. Strike one. Terrible. Strike one. Dolphin one, K20. Yeah, not good. <laughs> I'm going to go a little bit more, Blair. Another crank. <laughs> Not in the head, man. I'm falling. That was the toughest fish I've ever seen you gaff, Look, man. I gaffed in the gill the first time. That's why we're so mad at you. Got it. Got her. That got to be one of the most beautiful fish That's in the a world. Nice one. Does that have the most absolute beautiful colors in that fish or not? It almost makes you don't want to eat them, but they are so good to eat. And we are going to put that one in the box. K2. Yeah, I'm opening it up right now. We're trying to get some more, though. Here you go. Nice work, boy. Way to go, brother. <laughs> uh oh, K2's got him one. Here you go. Nice work, boy. Way to go, brother. <laughs> uh oh, K2's got him one. <laughs> The whole school's right there. You look, you see him right back there? Yeah. Here, I'll get that one in. Hey, they don't like him with weeds on them. Blair, what do you use this nice reel for over here in this rod, the setup that I use? Because I think I grabbed one of the smallest ones. <laughs> I think that's a redfish rod. Let me tell you something, I've never caught in a redfish before but I'll be ready for one after this one. <laughs> I like the setup you have. Oh, nice mahi. Oh, such a beautiful fish. You still got him? Yep. Oh my God, Blair, right here. Come bring a bait right here. How sick that is. Oh my God, look at that, you got him on. Oh, look at that. <laughs> you got him. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, you got him again. Oh, come on. Look at how nice that fish is. I'm going to let him eat it that time. Did you eat it? Did you eat it? He ate it. I'm about to lose this one. Hey, come over, shaking like a trout. Can I take this one out? Oh, what if I lose it? Bring yours in, Kev. I'm, look at how I have this guy hooked here. <laughs> look at this lasso. We'll get him undone, put another bait on. I'll hold this guy in the water. One thing when you got a dolphin on, especially when you're in schoolies like this, if you hold one really close to the boat like this, you see the others are staying around it. It enables you to basically put them in the box. Still going on. Man, what a pretty fish. His back's almost the same color as my rod. Come on, mahi mahi. Let's go, dolphin. You see any more there, Blair? Uh-uh. Looks like dolphin sandwiches tonight, Pete. Sounds good to me. I think we can swing this guy. Yeah, there's... Oh, nope. Oh! <laughs> hey, we got the best part of him anyway. All right, folks, what we've done, we've changed spots now. We pulled up on the flat instead of the deep water back there. We kind of gave up on the dolphin and wahoo. It was getting real slow and real boring back there, just trolling and trolling, and I think everybody was about to fall asleep. So we're up on the reef now, just a random part of the reef out here on the Bahama Bank, and uh, we got Kevin Cote there on the other side of the boat doing his live bait deal, and I'm gonna try to catch a mutton using a DOA swimming mullet. So let's see what happens. Hopefully I get one. Ooh. You can fill that whole cavity up in there with this Procure. And that's just the uh, redfish super gel, even though we're hopefully gonna catch a mutton. Y'all saw that, I just had it sinking down to the bottom and something ate it. What is it? Something big. I don't think it's a cuda. Nah. <laughs> Anxious to see what it is though. We're just sitting on the bottom, I think it's a, uh, gotta be a big mutton. Think you got another one, huh? I do believe so. I hope so. Kind of fighting like one. There it is, whatever it is. Grouper. Grouper, baby. Yeah, it's a good size. No, it's a mutton. Big old mutton. Kevin, you got the gaff ready, brother? Yes. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> That's a nice one, Blair. That is a sweet one. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. I've said it once. I've said it a hundred times on the show. That little bait right there, a DOA swimming mullet. Everywhere I've thrown this bait, I've caught fish. Didn't even expect to catch a mutton on it today. But... Here, take that. I see that. Sucker. Hold on. Let me get this gaff out. Be careful. Hold on. Hold on. Got him. Perfect. Look at this fish in the sun here. Absolutely beautiful. God, that's a nice fish. I tell you what, brother, this ain't a bad way to start day one out of Chub K. We're gonna be eating good for We're sure. We're gonna be eating good, go ahead. <laughs> nice Look work, Blair. Oh, Let's it's see. looking good in there. Two muttons, two dolphin, and a mangrove snapper. 
Ooh. Can't go wrong with that for dinner tonight, I tell you. <laughs> So Blair, you caught one on the on the mirror lure first. Off of a barracuda. Off of a barracuda, and now you're telling me you just threw in that DOA swimming mullet? Yeah, I don't want to beat up those mirrodines too much. And I'm fishing a live bait and I haven't caught in one yet. Are you kidding me? Oh, no way. You got one? Yeah, I do, son. <laughs> <clears throat> Man, those things pull when they first eat. Did I just give you a Roland Martin son? <laughs> oh, this is a nice, I don't know if this is a... It's another one. It's not fighting like a mutton. No. But I'm sure it is. <laughs> this one's big. This one's a good one. They're all good. <laughs> Some just better than the others. <laughs> So you're gonna switch to one of these lures instead of that live bait? You bet, believe it. Right, right after we're done with this, I'm gonna go there and switch my bait. Oh, that's what was falling. I don't know. Yeah, you have another one in your bag I can borrow? Yeah, I do. I might even give it to you. Down on the bottom. There he is. It's a big mutton. Nice button snapper, <laughs> baby. Dude, you gotta <laughs> love Chuck <laughs> Banger. <or> what? <laughs> Look at how big these things are over that here. That is a true mutton snapper, there, brother. Wow. And I switched out to the uh, to the giant terrorize. I figure I've never caught anything on that giant terrorize just because I've never really thrown it. I figure let's see if we can get a mutton to eat that big old terrorize. Blair, do you think I can get one of these? Because <laughs> you're catching them all. Sure. I want to at least catch one. I got one for you. Woo! Is that awesome or what? Chub K in the Bahamas. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, my personal gaffer, Kevin Cote. <laughs> and our personal boat drivers up there. Greg and Peter Dornow up there driving the boat. Appreciate it, guys. I think we're going to eat good tonight. And that was just day one of our fishing adventure down in Chub K. We've got a lot more gorgeous water to cover and a lot more beautiful fish to catch. I want to say thanks to Chub K Marine and Resort for putting us up in some awesome accommodations. And once again, got to say thanks to the Starbright crew for making another fishing adventure absolutely awesome. Don't forget about the website addictivefishing.com. Go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, like, and leave us a comment because we love to hear from you. That about wraps up today's show. We'll see you all next week. Tight lines. A little strawberry grouper. Check out more footage from this show by logging on to addictivefishing.com for outtakes and bloopers. It's a margarita. Put that one in the box. Ready? Why don't you go ahead and lip him? Let him go. Oh. There he is. Oh, we got off.